Now, if you're a functional programmer or you just come from a language that has lists or arrays, a table actually is both. You can put both in there. So we're going to say one, two, three. Notice this comma, and don't worry about the space. If you want to add space, it's great. You don't, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to make it easier to read for you. Notice this is a list of numbers. So watch what happens when I print out this table. See how it has this one here? Where did that come from, right? All I did was do one, two, three. Well, Roblox Studio is smart enough to know the two types of tables that you can create. There's either a list, which is a table that has a bunch of items in it, and notice there's no four. That's because it's what? Nil. That's right. If there's nil, it considers that the end of the list. So we have item one is one, item two is two, and item three is three. Now, if you come from other programming languages, you're going to freak out because Lua is a one-based array or a one-based list. No other programming language except for like Lingo and Director does that, right? It's usually zero. But if this is your first programming language, congratulations, <laughs> your lists actually seem like they make sense. I put numbers in this guy just to make it easier to see that, you know, the one is at the first position and two, but you can put whatever data type you want. So we're going to say uno, dos, and trace. So we're going to put strings in there. Uno's at the first, dos is at the second, and trace is at the third. And when you run it again, you'll see that the first position is uno, dos, and trace. So far, so good. And you can put Booleans in there. True, false, true. So any data type you put in there, you can put, it doesn't matter if you mix and match. So a lot of programming languages will not allow you to mix and match data types, but Lua, totally cool with it. You could put sup, and you could put a table <laughs> at the third position. So you have a Boolean at the first, a string at the second, and a table at the third. And that's totally cool. Lua doesn't matter, doesn't care. And we'll show you how to access these later, but these are lists are really good to keep list of data, a list of players on your server, or a list of items in your inventory, or a list of people you need to send a message to that your pet needs food and they're supposed to deliver it for your particular game, for example, right? Lists are extremely, like, probably my favorite data type just because I've learned functional programming. They're very powerful. Lists might be weird. Don't worry about it. When I first started programming, it took me 18 months to grok this concept. If you can understand what I just wrote faster than 18 months, you are light years ahead of me. Congratulations.